wish the animation looked a little different, at least if it looked blue or something, but it always looks the same color. I mean, how hard would that be to pull off? What are you doing? I suddenly am not such an asshole. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> honey, oh honey, Betty, what was I? What am I doing here? Did you do something with your hair? Oh, Rusty, you're looking very handsome yourself, honey. Yeah, let's make out in front of this child. Tidy, it worked. Ah, uh, Marshall Bliss, ain't it? Mar, 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 Marichal, Bliss. There's lovely. Yeah, whatever. I can't read right. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh. Oi, what do you think you're doing? This is no time to be interrupting. Let's just leave it let's just leave it and go to Myrtle's and tell Myrtle everything's back to normal with her folks, shall we? I guess you're right. Let's go. Hey hey hey. I also beat the shit out of your dad. That was freaking funny. He was on the ground crying, I'm like, ah, I beat your ass, I'm a child. <laughs> Expelliarmus in your face, bitch! <laughs> well, gee, I should spring the lock again. Oh, wait, it's already open. <clears throat> oh, at least he knocked, and then he walked in before he was welcomed. If my father sees you, he'll. Beat the show, you. Myrtle, come with me. Huh? You can go outside now. You're not sick anymore. Eh? I. I can't, Oliver. Just thinking about going out there gives me goosebumps. Myrtle. Oh. Oh, don't beat me, Father. Go on out and play, Myrtle. But, Father. You're acting uncharacteri uncharacteristically sorry. nice. I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened to me. I wasn't there when you were sick, when you needed me, and I was fighting with your mother the whole time. I guess maybe the thing that was keeping you closed up in here. Maybe it was me. Maybe. <laughs> it most definitely was you. You had a nightmare in you, you asshole. Somewhere deep down that if you went away, even for a little drippy doing? Your mother and I would lose the one thing keeping us together. <laughs> that we... <sighs> By God, that that hat is flying. I'm right, aren't I? How did they not see it? Has he not seen it? I'm like a kid, I'm distracted by the background things going on. Not this sensitive moment. Father, I It's alright, sweetheart. Your mother and I, it's gonna be okay. <laughs> Seventh heaven, when you see the happy faces. Please, please forgive me. <laughs> oh, I do. Daddy, I do. Strippy. Are those tears bugged in? Huh? No, they're not. So the kid's talking to himself. Oh my god, that hat's flying! Oliver? Hmm? I'm going to try. I'm going to go outside. <gasps> Will you come with me? Murder. That wasn't really much of a response. It was just saying my name. Say my name, Ollie! Oh my god, is this what the sun feels like? Uh, it's like she's reborn! Myrtle! I did it! Oliver! I did it! I'm outside! What's the inner workings of this? Does she have some sort of open spaces here? Or? <laughs> no, that's beautiful. <laughs> Uh, I'm horny. That's so <laughs> just not like. Uh, <sighs> okay. I'm so happy for you, Nerdle. I couldn't have done it without you, Oliver. I'm going to go outside every day from now on. I'll go to school again. I'll meet new people. I'll buy new clothes. It's so strange. I was so scared about. I'm so scared about. I'm scared to come outside. But now I feel brave. I feel like I could do anything. Listen to her, man. All of a sudden, she's got more courage than you can shake a stick at. Whatever the fuck that means. I can feel it all coming from all the way over here, yeah. 
She does? Huh. Mr. Drippy, there's an there's someone in Alma Moon who can really use some of that courage. Nice thinking, Ollie boy. Uh, a drop of Myrtle Myrtle's newfound bravery would be <clears throat> should be a kickstart young Esther's recovery. Is something the matter, Oliver? Yeah, you're talking to yourself. Myrtle, I uh, I know a girl who just like you and she's going through something terrible. Huh? You're so brave. I want I wanted <clears throat> I wanted you to know if you let me give some of your courage to, that, to this girl to help her and to help my help her family of course but how do we do that we use magic I know I <laughs> I know just the spell magic you're an interesting boy Oliver <laughs> scooch over to the panic button dial whatever number it is for the asylum to throw them in but sure go ahead all right close your eyes like this Open your mouth! Oh, no. <laughs> That's so wrong. Uh, take it. Take your heart! <laughs> oh my god, what is that evil child doing to our daughter? Uh, black magic it is! Oh, I guess not. A status 30 force of fearlessness. Ooh. It feels warm. My heart, it feels warm. That means the magic worked. Thank you very much, Merle. Now my friend can finally start to get better. I'm glad. Right, Ollie boy. We've got some courage to the blower, ain't it? Let's get going. Sure. Merle, I have to go now. I wish you luck. I wish her, wish your friend luck for me, won't you, Oliver? I hope she gets better soon. Thanks, Myrtle. I will. See you soon, Oliver. Okay, I'm just gonna stand right here, present myself, and vanish in front of him, causing him to be completely psychotic and have a complete family breakdown. Yeah! By God, I don't want to go outside. This kid's disappearing. Something evil's at work here. <laughs> ah, back in the wonderful, magical world of... Uh, what's the name of this world? The Other World, that's all I know. Ankaria, uh, Spira. Well, I don't know what they call this. It's definitely not Spira, nor Ankaria. There's no freaking heavy metal of music when I fight rats. <laughs> I guess I give it to her. I'm lacking courage, apparently. Oliver, huh? Petty, it's just as I, just like I thought. We opened her heart back up again, mend it for her for now. Blah blah blah. Give her the courage. I know. I know. I know. Oh, my health's slow. I should cast a healing spell. But I, all I can do is give heart right now. It's not like she's going to try and fight me. Of course. <laughs> what she does. Oh, you healed me. Thank you very much. Battle! It's like fireworks. Oh. What is this? What have you done to her? You bastard. <laughs> Where am I? What happened? It was Shadar. He stole a piece of your heart. Why does my mouth taste like bugs? Heart? Is it you, Esther? Is it really you? Oh, my dear daughter. He should be feeling better. We helped his other half. <laughs> you were robbed of your courage. But I... I have only myself to blame for the loss of my own. Oliver, it is you who taught me this. You have my thanks. I love the lip syncing. You're welcome, Mr. Ashad. I will join you in the fight against Shadar. The day will soon come when the clarion rings out across the land once more. You just, wait, what did Drippy do? I'm, I'm watching oh, Drippy. It's an old story from <laughs> way back, that is. Back when the world was at peace like. The three kings of our world combined their skills and knowledge to create a flute that symbolized the great peace. Ooh. The sound of this flute came to represent... Why am I reminded of Orcarina of Time? How long is it now since the call of the Calarians? Well, actually, I think it's more like, what's it called? Not since the three kings got into a right old potch and fell out, I heard. Yeah, Daddy! It's up to us. The clarion will bring out again, and we will be the ones to play it. <laughs> Very well, daughter. 
Let us do our best. Let us help Oliver in his fight. Thank you so much, Mr. Rashad, sir. I let the Rashad. I did the water. I did the water. I did Rashad, motherfucker! Let me come with you, Oliver. I wish to help you fight Shadar. I have a familiar to help me, just like you. Here, boy. Oh, it's so fat and ugly. It totally looks like you. <laughs> oh, I didn't say that. Wow, you can fight with familiars too, Esther? Indeed she can. Esther's talent lies in the training and handling of familiars. She's more of a familiar keeper than a wizard, is it? Fair enough. Useful folks to have around, they are. This is my dro Drongo. Uh, his name is Gogo. What a stupid name. Say hello, Gogo. Oh, Gogo. The familiar joined your party. Teddy, now that's settled, let's get down to business. You remember that young Oliver came here for... Well, he came for, ain't it, Rashad? <coughs> oh, Mr. Drippy, how dare you burp? I do. I, I wish... You wish to learn the arts of the sages, do you not? Yes, sir. Then, you will need these spells. Hurry, Bob Godal! Puppet Spring. Secret ingredient. And. Oh, you have this magic lamp. You can summon a genie voiced by Robin Williams. Tidy, isn't it? Oh, wait. I'm not the one saying it. Pulse. Uh, does this have anything to do with Final Fantasy 13? <laughs> what other reference will I make? I'm such an asshole. 